is The Nights by Avicii. It's, uh, it's a really upbeat song. I enjoy it quite a lot. Um, just very, very positive kind of thing. And I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a good day. It's beautiful outside. I got to go outside and kind of, um, I don't know, um, uh, I just get a couple things done and enjoyed some of the sunshine a little bit. Got myself a haircut, stuff like that. Pretty straightforward, you know, went to church, all that, so uh, pretty good day. But uh, I wanted to come home and uh, get into some video games. So that is the plan for today. Let me turn that down so it doesn't have so much feedback. There we go. Um, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, it's been a good day so far. How are you guys? But yeah, I also really wanted to get back into this game. I know it's gorgeous outside, and I probably should be outside. My parents would be, you know, if I was if I was young, my parents would be like, Michael, beautiful day. Go outside. I'd be like, but video games. Um, but that's alright. I want to play this game. You know? It's one of those things. Let me check and... Alright, I wanted to make sure that it was going through the right microphone. The correct microphone. I need to get like a noise filter because right now you can hear the um, the fan in the background behind me and that kind of drives me nuts. But that's okay. But yeah, this game, uh, I very quickly really just fell in love with it. It's uh, it's really fun. It's, it's very good. Uh, just a fantastic game. A lot of weirdness. You know, like the fact that there's posters of her now immediately after she became the director. Yeah, if you guys uh, didn't catch my stream, my beginning stream of it, uh, it is up on the YouTube channel now. So you should be able to go catch that. How do I still not have access? I'm the director. Uh-oh. A jukebox? Did the jukebox just growl? It is a little bit stuttery, yeah, I'm seeing that. It's, uh, it's not just on, uh... That's just us. Oh. Sorry, people are f messaging me immediately again. As soon as I start streaming, go figure. Um... Now I'm just trying to figure out why my, uh, game is kind of stuttery. Because I see that. Uh, let me take a look and see what's running in the background here. Let me see what's going on. What's going on here? It's, it gets a little bit choppy once in a while. Oh, I did upgrade- I did increase the uh, resolution that OBS is running at, so that could be it. I went ahead and brought it all the way up to 1080p, because I had historically streamed always at uh, 720, but I want to try and maybe if I just- let me try and just set it so it- Streams at 720, records at 1080. Let me try that. Oh, nice. You can't change it while it's active. That makes sense. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Um, cool. So, give me a second, and I'll be right back. I'm going to try and change it so it's not as choppy. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Want to see if that's better. Looks like I'm live again. Now my computer is a few years old by now. It's, um, I built it in 2013. You know, so I mean, it's still a good computer, but like, it is, it is a little old. Yeah, that runs a lot more smoothly, so we'll just have to keep it at 720. Sorry. There it is again. Our welcome what? message. Huh? Oh. Well, there's no saving her, so, uh...
What's this? Energy boost? Oh, but I can't- I can't have more than one. Oh, it just increases your total energy, but what is energy? I don't know. Yeah, so this game is, uh, kind of interesting. You've got, like, fucking... Supernatural powers. And there's, like, weird stuff going on. It's kind of like an SCP game. It's kind of like, uh... Like, it reminds me of the TV show Fringe. It reminds me a little bit of, like, X-Files or Twilight Zone. You know, some sort of combination. Okay, where do I get a clearance level? How do I do that? How do I change that? Oh, I can hear that hiss. Oh, that's what she meant. Oh, they heard that. He had a shotgun. Didn't do him any fucking good. This is just so much fun. But yeah, it's kind of got some elements of like Twilight Zone in it or something. All right, let's see. Visited the following Nevada accommodations, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Mini bar, $313. Damn! The boys in research said performing rituals may help in identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I'm not, um... I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's just an itemized list of expenses. Oh, so these are little, like, collectibles. House memory. I don't have any clearance level. See, what's great is, uh, because this game deals with, like, supernatural type stuff, that could just- that's not a glitch, man. No, that was, um, an altered world event. I think that's what they call them in this game. Yeah, it's an altered world event. Certainly not a glitch. Yeah, these people are unrecoverable, by the way. I probably don't need to be killing them. I mean, they're already technically dead, right? Like... Like... Right, like, they're already technically dead. It's not like they're, you know... I, I can't save them, so I mean... Oh, I don't like that noise. There's, like, screeching from down that hall. Wow, the chanting is getting very strong. Very loud. Shot him in the nuts. Did he just explode? What the hell? Undefined reading because I don't have the call. All right, uh, Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline, right? That's the current mission.
But yeah, there's no glitches in this game. It's just an altered world event. It's fine. I kind of wish I had a little flashlight, kind of like uh, Tomb Raider. Laura has a little like flashlight clipped under her lapel. That'd be nice. But then they'd want to experiment with having you play in the dark. So I wonder if that freezes enemies or slows them or something. sitting there taking a shit and someone's supernatural abilities just comes in and just punches the door open. Unstable area notice. Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, uh, all the smart stuff forever, right? We read that yesterday when we first entered the bureau. That just... I was gonna ask if that was Sky, but considering I can put bullet holes in it, I'm guessing not. The tree is nice, though. So, were surviving staff members able to put up, like, these kind of barricades, or...? See, I still can't... I still can't open that because I don't have the clearance level and I don't know how to... I don't know how to get the clearance level. Okay, so I'm supposed to go that way, looks like. But there is also this scary haunted hallway... Oh, there's a shelter. Havana summary. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, including injuring the majority of diplomatic sta staff stationed there. Blank deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been blank. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for blank minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and embassy staff were transported to the continental United States. After formula I.9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate in it, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the bureau for an examination. See case file AIA5 for details. I'm checking my uh, mixer settings here real quick. I have a feeling there's some, like, Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting to see. Okay, so just existing in there hurts me? That would seem to be the case. I wonder if that just, like, cleared it out. No? Neither did that. Alright, so this is like a no-go zone right now, I guess. Oh, 
Okay, I guess there's an... I... Ooh, that actually hurt quite a lot. It took almost half my health. Unless I was hurt before and I just didn't realize it until now. Anyway, I want to see the spook hallway here. We got to see what this is about. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't okay, so that just kills you. With you on that. Neat. I sure hope there's some more of those uh, health sparkles around here somewhere because I'm going to need them now. Bummer. Fantastic. Whoa. Yeah, see, this area is super dark. I need a flashlight or something. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know, or the or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans, plus the timing belt, from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would be, he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Is there really not a, like, a flashlight button or anything? I really need... Another one. Wow, one of them must have a shotgun, because that fucking hurt. That sent me flying back, damn. I don't know the spooky, like, ghost vision was making noises, so I don't know what it wanted me to do. And more undefined reading. When do I get a clearance level? I mean, you'd think being the director would be a clearance level. Oh, damn. Neat. Dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handed database the research teams can use to search 
Oh, for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside, f aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the postal service as undeliverable. The bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones might allow insight into the, how the unknown is perceived by real people. By real people? Wait. Wait, what? Are none of these... All right, we'll come back to that. Uh, of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. I want to see it pop this time. Nice. Oh, there's something up there for me to go get, huh? Man, the background noise of the fucking hiss. It's quite the noise. It certainly is a little bit disconcerting, isn't it? We ain't found shit. I have a feeling there's more enemies yet. Oh, here we go. Finally, I can get some health. Is this cleanse control point? Oh, heck yeah. Printer's down. Uh oh. Oh, no fall damage. Cool. Let me confirm that. Yep, no fall damage. Very neat. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Hang on. <laughs> Man, more undefined reading. I still can't read that stuff. I was kind of hoping it would like blow up on a bunch of them or something. Book Club Penny. What? <laughs> what? Hello, avid readers. The Bureau of Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just digging out a bunch of jelly beans. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Sounds like a country singer, doesn't it? Everyone should get the reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. Okay, so that'd be the P. Bartwell. What the hell?
What the fuck? That should never be witnessed by anyone ever again. My gosh. My... wow, that was... Take office equipment outside the boot. Unreal. I'm getting a little bit of aperture vibes some from some of these uh some of these posters. concern i am being contacted by the past presidents of the united states of america they appear as spirit guides giving me their wisdom john adams keeps saying i need to fix america but i can't really understand them they all have a lot of opinions people tell me i'm imagining it but theodore roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower and i don't know a thing about lawnmowers explain that i have great dead men telling me about the past and the present if you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Okay. Yes! I wanted to break the desk in half. That is fantastic. I love good destruction physics like that. That is just fun. I don't think there are any other side offices that I missed or anything. Hey, what are they? Oh, it's highlighted something back here. I can't even see where I am right now. Uh, Mr. Governor. Gov- Governor. I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuts words. The devil got in my house because of the fish. You got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Bar. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, piece of candy. For a second there, it looked like there was a door there, like an opening. The name of the 
<laughs> so we need mold. I mean, just in general, that's good advice. Alright, I suppose I should push on. And I still don't have a clearance level. When do I get one? Like, how do I get one? Communications are on the right track. Yeah, but I want to go this way first. Look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> I love it. I think that's everything in this main area. Well, that makes it look like I've already been in here, but I don't... Okay. Book Club Samson. <clears throat> so I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this is alright. 
The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got an real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and gun space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like a cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms and the space dog fight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Hey, how do you upgrade? I still don't know how to upgrade. So, an object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to find it. Bitch. I still can't read it because I don't have any daggone clearance level. So it looks like I need to go up there. Oh boy. <laughs> Compressor 5 control panel. can actually hit me. Oh my! It kind of reminds me of, um, 
There's like a mini game kind of thing in Spider Man 2. Where if the bad guy can see you, he shoots you with a laser. Oh. Oh, <laughs> brutal. So what, I just have to run out there and grab it? That seems to be the case. Alrighty, here we go. Mine, bitch. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Hold E to grab highlighted objects. Release me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, this is gonna get fun. Destiny, bitch. <laughs> well, this is fantastically cool. The hiss is burrowing into their astral plane. So, the board is gonna get overwhelmed, huh? You actually do take a lot of damage, even in these, like, little training... This game just gets better and better. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. 
I got it. Just like you want, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Well, this is fucking magnificent. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, look at that. The shadow actually matches. Oh, that's nice. can throw something that's on fire? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be good. Man, I still want to be able to get in there. Alright, let me make sure my health is full. But this is just fantastic, I gotta say. Being able to throw things with your mind. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Alrighty, Corrupted Hiss Ranger. The Rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their Hiss corrupted counterparts are for equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found using an during any threat found during altered world event response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with bureau-made body armor. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the Hiss Rangers are capable of applying to their situation, is it feasible to consider that the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the Hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. And then a Hiss Barrier. The Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is, in, that is difficult to define. Hiss Barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What about what does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? I 
need another one of these. And so I've got all these points up here, but I have no idea how to use them. I'm gonna see what the controls are. See if there's like a... Use, seize, or switch weapon. Okay, shield. Neat. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any, uh, like, store or anything. So I'm not sure what I'm not seeing here. Also, the dude's body from earlier is gone, so... <laughs> that was kind of horrific. If I go back to that one that I couldn't get through earlier, I bet I can like pull the container towards me. Where was that one? A rocket launcher? Are you fucking kidding me? Bye. Still more guys out there somewhere. Okay. Damn. Also fucking excuse me for just trying to go back to the safe room earlier. 
Guess I'll just fuck myself then. A dude with a fucking rocket launcher. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. That looks like the mail room. Oh, getting some lag. Oh, getting some bad lag. It's over the intercom. Wait, what? <laughs> Just a slow tip. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. I still don't have clearance. And I still don't know how to get clearance. <sighs> Jeepers. Just fucking pastes them. Now that I've learned that you can at least shoot the speakers to make that stop, that's... Uh, uh, it's like one of those, like, at least that. Alrighty. Uh, summary of Willow. Altered world event. National news sites have been gun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns make the public so much less likely to blank. So another altered world event behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank, blank, and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. To messy out! Accuracy boost. I mean, I'm already inaccurate as hell, so, uh... I feel like, honestly, making the gun more accurate would be worse for me, because I kind of need it to be somewhat inaccurate, so I have a chance of hitting things. Well, that's nice. Oops. Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. There is a key nearby. Um, why is it so dark in here? Control point. Claim it, not cleanse it. Interesting. Very interesting. What happened to you? Where is your jaw? This must open the door. 
Damn. Don't read confidential correspondence. Huh. Oh, if I now have level one clearance. Holy shit, that hurts. Oh, fuck, there's more bad guys. Yep, that was shit. Oh, so it's not normally all a mess over here. It's probably just because I came through. <laughs> So I am damaging him. Bad, 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 bad. I had to get to that uh, health.
Yeah, his attacks hurt a lot. There's a bad guy up top, huh? Hiss Elevated Agent, oh boy. Uh, Hiss Elevated Agents display abilities similar to telekinetic com competencies observed in Bureau Para-Utilitarians. Some prefer to charge their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording and parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible that these individuals were bound by objects of power prior to corruption. It is also worth considering that the Hiss residents can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. I have a feeling he'll be back. Considering I don't think he actually died, yeah. Focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Making sure I've got all my health. first make sure I've found everything like lore and any collectibles things like that <laughs> the fire extinguisher keeps like popping in there was. I wonder if that means that it's dynamically loading and unloading the objects as I go.
All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds of all of having to show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. Summary. Heh, heh. No, it's Butte. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's ho Butte Homes closet disappeared during this incident. Energy recovery? Oh, so you can get multiple of the same ones. Interesting. Hotline chamber. Okay, but I want to explore just a smidgen. Man, yeah, fuck it. Very cool. The hotline can't be far now. Supplemental. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View no Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. 
Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have become, begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in blank and blank sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is blank, but initial hypotheses center on the Butte AWE as a blank blank blankety blank. Okay, so you just die. That's cool. No, 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 no. Really? Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say, if it made me fucking fight that dude again, I'd actually be pretty upset. if I can catch those.
Mental. That was fun. Well, it's great because you can, like, alternate between... What's also... Okay, cool, cool, cool. You can just rip a chunk out of the floor. That's cool. I'm just checking for like lore and stuff. Oh, okay, that makes sense. A little privacy for the toilet. Privacy. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airways for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicious Comp. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular way. Now, the manager explained that three years back, a body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that most hell beds tend to have. The body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Contents had been reported in room for them. Ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Percy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep telling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. Some colors that we have in the room for. Maybe a toaster is possessed. Remember, listeners. When no one else believes you, we do. Kind of reminds me of uh, Coast to Coast AM uh, with George Norrie. It was a, an older show on the AM stations. That's fun. It's probably inspired by that. Thank you. 
I don't know how to get rid of all this stuff. This one out loud, it's long. <laughs> I'm lazy. Quite the noises. Test, test. Interesting. So, this is. I just flicked a little switch on my microphone. I'm just checking out a couple things here. So if I do this versus this, test, 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 test. I don't remember what the different modes are. I hope you guys enjoy the pop. <laughs> D. Nobody gets to live. You die, you die. Oh, for fuck's sake. What is that? Personal mod. it so I guess if you dilly dally too long it probably just spawns enemies or something or I'm not entirely certain honestly
Wait, the sign, there's a sign here now. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream this is cool Opens different doors. Life consists of many doors, head boy. in this hall are blue now. Nice. I got my gun back. sort of shit is this?
Oh, fuck! I didn't know there was a gap there. Black hole. of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an egg. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Ah, I lost the game. Oceanview Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Oceanview operates on dream logic and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Okay, interesting, interesting. Give me a second, I'm just uh, making a couple of... I'm just pulling up a couple things here.
There we go, there we go. Cool, cool. Go. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Okay, so People this is react the strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Yearn, 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 yearn. When do I get to upgrade these things? When do I use like my money? Anyway, let's see. Hotline. All control points. Here we go. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams. Constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. <clears throat> the hotline. I must reach the hotline. Eight. I'll poke around with that later. It's just, it's kind of annoying that the video is always exactly the same. Oh. I wasn't there before. What do you know? Alrighty, to all executive staff, I know there's some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then... Hang on. Okay, yeah. Then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in a spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachariah Trench, Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Huh. 
Oh, I can finally get into this room. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While the details surrounding his death are classified, I am honored to tell you that he died in the service of his country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against her enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain the mes this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loved so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray. Deputy Chief of Communications, Federal Bureau of Control. There we go, that's more like it. Didn't I kill this guy before? Hey, at least if we ever resurrect him, he'll be uh, clean. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, Follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any Cry. altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> oh, I would not go in there. I just blew up that bathroom. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Clear a little space. Oh. In service of his country. Oh, 
know this is where what's her nuts must be because I can't pull out my gun. That's lame. I can't wreck up this place. Still don't have the authorization or whatever for that. Collective unconscious. Uh, a collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious, unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. Through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. The, this internal belief in the power of images, shared by a massive population, is blank in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of blank blank exuded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of blank. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of a sustained collective belief. Eight. And you can't even knock stuff over in this area? Yeah, it's all like bolted to the ground. So this area is like absolutely like secure or something. Wait, there's a direct line to the director's office? Oh. HUD! I could've... Hmm... Whatever. I'm going to take a drink of soda. You guys can enjoy reading this. They have pillows with their logo. <laughs> uh huh, the camera does follow you. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for a few weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shader. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. What's kind of funny is once in a while when I do that zoom in, she'll bring her hand up. There, like that. Uh, where obviously the model is trying to bring up the gun. Usually if you combine it with running into something. Like if you do it at the same time. 
Hey, what is this? That's really what it reminds me of. The way it opens like that. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? I, sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. In a second. I want to update my Facebook. Wait, where did... Okie dokie. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed, have revealed various behavioral facts. <laughs> Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, alter items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that do Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the his? More work to be done. Oh, look box. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
Well, that bodes well. No, it's fine. Four ability points received. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point. Do you hear that? Someone's hmm? singing. Where's it coming from? I'll go look. Is she losing her mind? Hi, Jesse. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Give me a second here, I'm gonna... Move some stuff... I'm just moving some, uh... Windows here. There we go. That's looking pretty good. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, Maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. What? Got it? Did she memorize this? What? Got it. Thanks. I... What? I actually want to hear that again. What? Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Oh, okay. Got it? Did yes, she actually. memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. 
cool. Somebody Thanks, I was Sam. actually able to have a I'm conversation sure I'll have with. Soon. Just let me know. Hey, what? I thought she had like blood coming out of her mouth. I was like, what the hell? Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. I don't hear any singing. Get a field lab set up as soon as possible. With what? We can't get any equipment from the research sector until the internal lockdown is lifted. And see what you can find around here. Strokons. Documents. Any measure. Spin move. What? <laughs> What is this? Bring devices you can find. Helping. Hope is a surefire way to. Okay, so I have four points. Oh, nice. Well, I guess I may as well, sure. Get on Darling's good side. What's a threshold remnant? I still only have the one outfit. You can put different, uh... Okay, I see, I see. Where am I going? They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. You never recorded any distance. I can do it much Obviously further. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. I love how they're just talking about me like that while I'm standing right fucking here. Okay, that's nice. You can just swap it on the fly. Ooh, 
I can finally go in here. Nice. <laughs> That's a long cable. Up to 20 feet. <laughs> uh, I can do a little further than 20 feet. I can do, uh, you know. Fascinating. Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? Hope has asked us to document the Hiss. Time to work. Meet me in Domain de Nanos. Janitor? This is a service elevator? This is a really nice ele elevator. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Oh, I bet he's not infected because he's listening to music. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? That's level two clearance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, how about that clearance? <laughs> Club Lopez. These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because of dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually fixed. The ending was, the ending was bold, especially for a young adult. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, 
but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book a 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. That was a really well written report. Yeah, man, I really needed to make sure I had that level 2 axis. Or, you know, I can just do a Star Wars thing. I fucking love it. It's so much fun. Directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? Okay, it looks like the room is definitely corrupted. Need to get right there, that's a control point. see at least of the six of these soldiers. Their faces are gone? I don't know. He's actually doing a little patrol route. There's a second one back there, I think. Yeah, there's definitely a second one. Maybe three? Are there three of them? He just turns around super fast. Okay. Like taking it out of her? Is that hurting her when she does that? Astral constructs.
Okay, we're just jumping straight into it though. Big old 10-4 there, buddy. level four to get through that. Oh, there's a bit of a lag spike. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not the stream lagging. That's the game. That was pretty rough. Hey, I needed one of those to, uh... Uh, to like upgrade my slots or something, didn't I? I guess I wasn't supposed to go quite that way. Or maybe I was? Launch efficiency, huh? worse than my other one. I guess I am supposed to go in through this way? I... I honestly don't know. Oh, I guess that probably goes into the main reactor, doesn't it? Dr. Jan Itor. Chase. All right.
Interesting. Fuck! Makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? I wonder if her if it's her brother that's like stuck in her head. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? The problem. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do to them. <laughs> wow, so if you don't do that, you don't get that dodge? Shit. <laughs> Let's see the wow. shit keep up with me now. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Merry-go-round horse. Object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride, the pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when blank its path. This object is currently bound by blank. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local blank reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the bureau, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local blank were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent blank by blank. Agents invoked formula C.5 to blank the object long enough to blank. Oh, cool. So I've already done it. Neat. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. We already saw that. Oh, 
That is mental. I was gonna say, did I really just die? But I think it was just a load zone. That's fucking cool. Alright, this game is really well made, man, because like the gun switch, that is perfect. I was concerned you basically had to choose one at a time, but no, this is brilliant, dude. What is this? Health recovery per elemental pickup. Uh, that's plus 20. I already have one that's plus 24. This is plus 20, so I'm gonna scrap both of these. These are identical. Alright. Place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look. We need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. <laughs> Ah, yeah, ah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to break the sword out that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Berkele. Oh, he's and finished. The pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara, Berkele. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. <laughs> but don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Brilliant. I fucking love it.
Get fucked. Wow. That was close. Astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. Okay, right. So. <laughs> Sorry, Ati, I, uh, I'm betting I was like your other office or something, but uh, that had to happen. Isn't that the tail end of an artillery shell? Fires three bullets. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it into fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. Uh, 
Um. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Feel that. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Hotline Northmore. Interesting. Northmore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmore was all about the power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Well, about that. <laughs> people what hey, oh. hey are you new go talk with chief arish in the security booth he's in charge here no shit actual people that's awesome me and my superpowers it's fine or the fact that I have the director's gun it's also fine the fact that I have telekinesis, it's fine. It's out here, lady. Go see Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. Oh. It's fine. You're just overreacting. Wait, why was there a green light on your shoulder and now there's not? I guess a weird reflection. Ma'am! Hey! 
Chief Arish, FBC. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just. Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Interesting. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> oh, boy. Dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'm guessing I'll I'm gonna have to kill out. Salvador. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Right. You got a lock down to lift. Okay, so all of these people have their own little uh, HRA. Ooh! Loot box.
Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Adi, tell, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you can better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry, quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we just dive on next, decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Ooh, yes. Okay, so that's then... Oh, wow, there's- oh, okay, I see, whoa. Oh, so it turns it into like an automatic weapon. Very cool. Very cool. However, I need to pee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let me take a look here. I'm looking at uh, a song to pull up. That's a little bit of a long song. Let's take a look here. I'm still looking. Let's see. There we go. Here's a good one. Alrighty. So I am. We're gonna go ahead and go to a quick break. Uh, give it like roughly five minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, get some water. We'll be back in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys like that. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Uh, we're gonna honestly just jump straight back into uh, control. So, oh, I'm having a ton of fun with this game. I am having a ton of fun with this game. So, it's uh, it's a really good game. It it really is. Ah, uh, it really, really is. So, let's, uh, let's dive back in. Oh, I should probably put my headphones back on. Might help.
All of a sudden I was like, wait, why can't I hear? Then I don't have my headphones. There we go. All right, cool. So nobody knows that I'm a fucking superhero yet. But they gonna learn. Furnace chamber. It's just a... Hang on, did I? Have I looped all the way around it? Now I have. Wait, there is a green light on their shoulder. Oh, it's like a walkie-talkie or something. Fuck your TV. <laughs> there it goes. It bounced. Oh, that was awesome. Why can't I pick up that gun? That looks awesome. I found the bad guys. Holy. Are you not gonna help? You have a gun. Are you, are you not gonna help? So my force throw does more damage now. Um. Yeah, that's a floaty dude. Did I kill the floaty dude? Did I fucking really? I think I did. Damn. Fucking pro strats right there, I tell you what. That was awesome. Wait, what did that do? supposed to be going I kind of wish that's one thing it's like uh, I kind of do wish the game would give you a little bit of like you know nudge nudge go this way
They explode? His charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. His charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charge is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption, or yeah, af of the his corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. Yeah, because they're fucking gone. Uh, this behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The his charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the his capable of customizing a corrupted host? A corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the his charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. That shit was fucked. Furnace chamber. Burn the trash around the furnace. So I need to go in there, I believe. hazardous biological material seems like I'm breaking some environmental <laughs> regulations on waste disposal but if that's what Ati wants 
then I'll get it done. I feel like that's not something you would want rocketing at your face at paranormal warp speed. But you know, what do I know? I'm just the janitor's assistant now. Do I have to get all these? I wanted to throw the fucking forklift at it. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. I need to convince them. Janet can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? Oh. I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. sentient, huh? It does burp! Does it burps? I thought it was. Wait, what? Oh, if you press F, it just drops it. You can't sprint while you're, uh, and, you know, telepathically floating something.
Mail tube complaint. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say those receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery, and that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out into some other dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Ooh, loot box. I wanted to take a look and see if these barrels do count for the trash-like goal. Because I wasn't paying attention the last time that I threw one of them in. Um, but I want to take a look. I want to watch the little progress bar. Nope, they do not. So I must just need to use just the, uh, um, whatchamacallits, the, basically the, the glowing ones, the, like, labeled ones, effectively. This, this type. Yeah. Yeah, this type. Yep. I think I just have one more. Oh, there it is. Oh, you can't take fall damage. You just have to fall a really fucking long ways. I was gonna say, wasn't there a control point right around here? And yeah, there is, right here. Alrighty, let's see. The melee damage is good. Launch damage is very good. I'm gonna go with that one. Ooh. Yeah, I think I need to go this way. Seems fine. Just hold together a little longer. Oh, but that's that toxic shit that I can't like climb or whatever.
There you are. That increased launch damage, though. Have I accomplished the director mission yet? What is this? Spin rate of fire. Oh, just a base uh, damage boost. Interesting. Here we go. Yes, I have. Okay, cool. What? To sit. Fix it fast. If the plant goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the core. Okay, so I need to find. It looks like the little power cubes from before. Oh, yeah, these. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. There's got to be a... Okay, so there's one more. Oh, it's right here. Shit. What now? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that. He's very clever. He's trying to sneak. 
Ow! Fuck me, that hurts! I'm gonna go find some of those health. Uh, yeah, these things, these little health things. Damn, that hurt a lot. I wonder if there's an explosive device out here somewhere. Try and like snipe it. Is that sufficient? It appears to be. The fuck, man. This is some like Silent Hill type shit. This really is. Or like Rezzy. Amazing. Come down. Wait, where's the loot box? Okay, but where's th where's the fucking? Okay, that is a mesh. My loot box, damn it. There we go. Oh, 
Alright, there's 100% gonna be enemies respawning here. What are you? Where did he go? Fuck. Okay, I now have a chance. Trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown altered world events, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the Hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. That guy was a real motherfucker. And uh, it's not the stream lagging, it's the game lagging. My gosh, the game is stuttering hard right now. Basically right when I defeated him. Oops. This time that. Yeah, the game is stuttering very, very badly right now.
Yeah, holy crap. I don't know, it's right when I killed him is basically all the lag started. There's like goo. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is with this lag. This is really bad. I'm gonna try closing down Discord. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I'm just looking at trying to improve things here a little bit. Alright, maybe that'll help. Oh! Um... Yeah, it did. Cool. Or maybe just honestly all tabbing and tabbing back in helped. Hard to... Hard to tell. Oh, good. Okay, so the good guys are fighting again. Took that one straight in the face. That was kind of unfair. Evade energy cost down, health boost up. Mm. What have I got here? Damage against enemy armor. I could have sworn I heard more gunshots. Had that, but sure. In the executive sector. Sure, I guess. All right now, what? 
Is this, uh, is this woman... Yeah, she's fucking dead. Oh no, she's fine! Oh shit, look at that! She's alright. That's great. I don't know if any of the good guys even died. Alright, let's see. So, I need to find the energy converters, and they are this way. Control point. what to do with the, the places that are all fucked up like that. Uh, let's see. Control room. Energy converters is where I need to go. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick pants inside the plant has a shit fit. can throw at this guy. Uh, it doesn't look like I can throw anything at the guy that's up there, though. What from? What about the guy that was over there? Did he just fucking die? Oh no, he's running down the stairs. Oh! 
Wow, I walked right fucking into that one. Damn. Man, sure would be nice if I could, uh, you know, catch rockets now, huh? Oh, one of these. That's just rude. I need to put the little charging blocks on there. Where's the other one go? Nope. I'm guessing up top somewhere. There we go. Neat. That was actually pretty easy, like suspiciously easy. Fuck shit. Let's see. Da, 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 da. What is this? There's a lot of you.
Cool. To protect them. Forces contain the lockdown. See, and that's my concern. It lifted by a directorial override. Is that once I lift this override? This is what we came here to do. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. I don't think I should lift the lockdown. I don't think so. I mean, because it's not fucking contained. It's not. It's not contained. The hiss is very much not contained. Yeah. And now maybe I'm the threat. I mean, with these kind of abilities, would I ever be able to leave the Bureau? I don't think I should do this. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. I think her brother is in her head. I mean, that makes sense, and I should have seen that coming. Wait, what? Is that wrecking shit under me? Oh, it like wrecks things as you go. That's actually kind of cool.
Black Rock Quarry? Oh, for fuck's sake. Somebody out here still alive? Yep. Tor. Yeah, this way. Nice! <laughs> Even better. Let's go up top. Situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing a couple weeks ago. Trench was furious. You don't think Darling? Jesse, you made it, and you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. Edgy. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we... met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off, the bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. 
What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. Oh boy. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. I mean, Emily is clearly not to be trusted, right? We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Interesting. Oh my gosh. There's a fucking time limit on it. Hope has asked us to document the kiss incantation. Okay, well, first things first. She calls it. You mean like in person? Dang, and I was I was gonna try and wrap it up now is because I got I gotta make some food for the next week here. I gotta do some meal prep and whatnot and Ah, jeepers.
Well, oh, that's gonna be death. That's gonna be death. Oh, fuck. Wait, you only get one shot at it? That was difficult. That was actually really hard. <laughs> Jeepers. Oh, jeepers. Ah. Damn, man. Wow, yeah, no, you just straight up fail. That's actually kind of shitty. That's kind of super shitty. Wow. Fuck. Alright, but it is from this point. I'm gonna activate this one. I'm gonna check my outfits. I have nothing. And then it is now that I am going to uh, go ahead and wrap up for the day. Ah, uh, it is a fun game. It is also becoming quite large, uh, a lot larger than I was expecting it to. Which I mean is good, don't get me wrong, but. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, wow. Yeah, it's, um, it's cool, though. It's a good game. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 there's a lot to it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot to this game. <coughs> and, uh, I don't know. It's fun. It's good. But yeah. Um, I have no idea when I'll stream next because I work every day of the week except Sundays. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so there's not a whole lot. Um, yeah, there's, there's not a whole lot that I, I can do to control my schedule per se. Um, but yeah, I will stream next time I play this game because it's just a lot of fun, honestly. So. Uh, I suppose for now, as always, thank you for watching. Sorry for your suffering. Take care, and I'll see you next time.